Um, I think it's one, just feeling happier in your life, feeling that, um, you know, I, I find that a lot of entrepreneurs that they, you know, they started this business because they were passionate about it. They were excited about it and you know, they felt they had something to offer. And then somewhere along the way, it becomes work. And then they get so bogged down because now they have to, especially when they're growing their business and they, as I said, we said earlier, the carrying the bright, shiny object syndrome, they have all these choices, they get overwhelmed and then they lose the clarity and then they're throwing money here and there. And so that's why it's so important to have the strategy. And then once you have that strategy, you're able to and identify what your values are. Uh, and then everything goes into, does it go into what that focus goal is and the values that we've established? Because if it doesn't, then you know not to, not to be a part of that. Um, so that's like if somebody comes along and they don't align with the values and your focus goal, that then you know, you know what, thanks for offering that money, but something will, else will come along and you know, and you look for partners who are going to align with your values. Because I highly doubt somebody like Richard Branson is going to want to work with a, with a Donald Trump. You know what I mean? So <laughs> um, just as like a big picture kind of thing. So it's when you when you're very focused goal, you have your strategy, you have you have your values, you know, you can kind of weed your way through the jungle. And then that's where the, it becomes cost effective. Any kind of marketing you do, you're very clear. The more the more clear you can be about who you are, what you're looking for. Uh, it also goes down to when you have the goal of, you know, if you need fast cash, it's going to be a different strategy than if you're building community. You know, so when you understand like what's the immediate goal, what's the long term goal, and then that kind of just everything just kind of zooms in. Hmm. So when we take like a, a, a business approach to this and we're um, kind of being holistic mm -hmm. uh, with uh, the approach in our, in our lives so that it touches everything, uh, how, do we, how do we go about that? Well, you know, one of the things about that I really appreciate about Richard Branson is he's a fun guy. You know, life should be fun. And I think that's one of the things that people enjoy being with him, he seems like he's just a guy that people want to talk to. You want to be around him. He's very likable because he's fun. And so one of the things about, you know, business is just a part of life. And one of the things that I look at also is, you know, health as well. If you're not healthy, if you're not sleeping right, if you're not eating right, and you live, breathe, and die for your, your company, it's like, it's not healthy. You need to get out, you know? And if you look at Richard Branson, he gets out and he has a good time, <laughs> but he also is very serious about work and he's built this you know, huge company. So it's really taking, it's a whole, it's a whole, you know, you're connected to your body. <laughs> you know, you have relationships, you need to build and nurture those relationships, the family, you know, having a family and, and just, you know, we're a whole being. We're not just work. We're not just in our head. So, so when we're doing this, um, and I think this is like a really foundational piece, but say we're setting goals for, you know, our personal life or our business. This, I'm assuming, kind of comes before that. Is that right? Well, you want to take, you want to look at the big picture. So when you're looking at, okay, are you somebody who's working seven days a week and you have no life? Or are you looking to take Friday, Friday off every week? And then how are we going to be able to do that? So once you realize like what's the ideal kind of life situation that you want to set, which would, we would do, you know, earlier in the process, because we will look at like, where do you want to go? Where are you now? And then that's where you see what the gap is. So once you understand, okay, I really would like to work, you know, I really would like to travel the world and have a business. So it's like, okay, so how can you do that? You know, it's one of the things that you have been able to establish for yourself. You know, Rick, you know, Richard Branson travels the world. So you have to have a team. Who are the right team that, you know, who are the right people that you're going to need? And um, so it's really establishing, you know, what's the lifestyle that you want. 